Hi, welcome back to Mining for More. I'm Dina Merchant. I'm joined by my lovely friend, Becca Mallory. And we are diving in this session to our Hebrew words. We're working through 52 Hebrew words. And so we're doing two words a week. And so if you're just joining in, there's a couple of uh, weeks I've already done. So you can go back and check out. Um, if you're not a, a subscriber, you can like the page and then you can actually watch the other videos. But today we're going to jump into, we, we say this all the time, Becca and I were just talking about this. We, <laughs> we say, we love these words, but they're, so, love, they're so profound. <laughs> they just bring such like um, light and revelation yeah. to, to the scriptures and to things that we already think we know. They just get more depth. And I just love it. So today's word is avad. I hope I'm saying it right. If you're out there and you're like a uh, Jewish or you speak Hebrew, please feel free to tell us anytime we're not saying it correctly. But the word is avad and it means to worship and mm. serve. And so I love this word because a lot of times as Christians or as people, we hear the word worship and we think of the songs. Like we'll say, well, I went to church. The worship was great. The sermon was good. Mm -hmm. And we have these like we compartmentalize everything right? And this word avad is not compartmentalized at all. It means to worship, to work, and to serve. And one of the early times we see the word is actually when God tells Moses to have the Israelites go out, leave Pharaoh and, and Egypt to avad, mm -hmm. to worship me, right? But yeah. then it even goes deeper and he says, when he gives the 10 commandments, he says, Six days you shall avad, but on the seventh day you rest. rest. So then yeah. you're like, wait a minute. I thought I was supposed to avad on Sunday when I go to church. I was supposed to worship. No, God's like, no, I want you to avad all day long. So it's like everything we do becomes an act of worship to God. Whether I'm folding clothes, whether I'm driving my kids somewhere, whether I'm whatever I'm doing is avad, right? And it makes me think of the verse in Romans 12, verse one, where God says, let your lives be a living and holy sacrifice, right? The kind I will accept. This is your act of avad. This is your act of worship. And so basically a sacrifice, God wants a living sacrifice. He wants us alive, serving, working, and, and, and everything we do is worship, not just the 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes at church on a Sunday. It was, yeah. I just love this word. Yeah, I, I think it's so great too that um, the author here draws us back to that scripture that you had mentioned in Exodus, because when I think of the Exodus story, the whole, the whole purpose of the Exodus story is this freedom, this yeah. new life, this release from this old life and a moving out into a new life, into who God has originally designed us to be. And it's, and so when I think of Avad, when I think of this worshiping and serving, it's God not just saying, oh, I'm, I'm bringing you into this new, okay, so Christian walk, right, as we would call ourselves Christ followers, um, so that you can do all of these other things, so that you can be in bondage again. No, what he is saying is he said, just like he said to Moses, tell the Pharaoh, set people free, set my people free so that they can be who I've designed them to be every day. And in doing so, living out in the freedom that I have brought them in the way that I have called them to be, that will bring worship to me. Yes. That will yes. honor me. So it's really um, a response mm. of our lives to celebrate God, the way that we yes. live, the way that we talk who he's called us to be. And, and in that note, I think it's really good. Um, I love when people do strength finders, spiritual gifts mm. tests, you know, you don't yeah. want it to like put you in a box, but sometimes people are like, I don't, I don't even know. I don't know what my strengths are. I don't know what some of these things are. Well, you know what? Meet with someone, do some of these tests online where you can say, yeah, you know what? God has, I never would have known some of my strengths had I not yeah. done strength finders. I think I don't think I would have identified them. And, and I found like a greater freedom and excitement in stepping mm -hmm. in to some yeah. of those things. So I I really love that. It it also um reminds me of um uh this quote that I actually just posted on the worship and art site by David Manor, and he said, Cheap worship asks, what's in it for me? Mm. Costly worship asks, what's in it of me? Yeah. And that speaks to our existence. It doesn't ex yeah. just, ex you know, sometimes we hear people say like, I didn't get anything. 
out of the right. sermon or I didn't get anything out of worship. And, yeah. um, you know, that whatever, you know, that's whatever. But, but when we really come with heart saying, Lord, I recognize what you've done for me. I recognize who you are. And my response yes. in my life is, is to bless you, is to praise you. Um, I spoke actually on this word a little bit many, um, many months ago, I think with Brian back, I don't know, September, 2021 or something when we were talking about worship in heaven. Mm. And um, I just, I love that worship our whole lives are once we understand God and have, have known him, have um, experienced the presence of him, have meditated on him, our natural response will be to worship because it just realigns us uh, yes. with his heart and, yep. and, and realizing who he is and what he's done. Yeah. It makes cool me think word. of that verse in Corinthians, which says, whatever you eat or drink, whatever you do, do it for the glory of God. Yeah. Our lives are just as worship. Mm -hmm. It's not just like, mm -hmm. okay, we're bowing or we're, we're praising our, raising mm -hmm. our hands, but we're literally yeah. living yeah, to bring glory to God. I mean, that's, it's really that's, beautiful. It, yeah. It, I mean, it really sums up the Christian life, isn't it? What Christ has done and our response to him in yeah. it. It's great. Yeah. So now uh, when you're reading through, like, look for that word worship. Yes. The word and worship. No. Yeah. Or serve really or work. It's great. Okay. Well, that back brings us to our second word, which is tal. And mm. I loved studying about this word because the imagery is so powerful. Um, the word tall, it's T-A-L, and it means do. And so it puts this beautiful picture in our, in our mind about what do is and how um, he, he, the author says, you know, do, it really represents God's blessing and his mercy. And um, I highlighted one of those areas, you know, where it says um, there was a, a rabbi, Ruth Gias, mm. she says, to be aware of the do is to become alert to all of the hidden goodness of God so that uh, that we off, so often take for granted. Um, you know, do, like the author says, is not rain. It's not as obvious, no. but that's what people in the desert survived off. Yes, of. yes. It was the Indeed. morning dew. Yes, yes. And it was the dew. The rain wouldn't come in the desert, but the dew was there. The faithfulness, the consistency. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and it covered over everything. Have you ever gone out, you know, especially in the spring or even in the fall sometimes when, the, oh, yeah. when it's almost frosty and you yep. can see it covers everything evenly, like every little piece of grass is covered in dew. You know, if you leave a blanket outside, it gets covered it gets all dewy and, and it provides so much life. It's, it's just such a, a beautiful imagery. What do you think of when you, when you were reading this word, Dina? I loved it. What I thought about is like how, how exciting our, our Christian life is because when we wake up every day, we can ask God to show us the things that we're missing that he's doing all around us. Sometimes we see the big things, but what about those small little things like a note from a friend that comes just on that day you need it? or a phone call that you made to someone that really encouraged them. Sometimes those little things, we miss them. And I find that like, really we have to, especially in the season we're in, it's so easy to get down, to complain, to grumble, to find all the things that are wrong or are not going right for us. And yet God calls us to say, wait a minute, look at all that I'm doing, the little things that you will easily miss because you're not focused on it. Yeah. And that's due, right? You open up yes. your door, you can, you will, you won't see the dew. You'll you'll see the sky or something else that's bigger, and you'll miss those small little things. And I'm like, I just think it's a good challenge for us to pray. God, help me to see the little things that you're doing each day. I don't want to miss them because that. Yeah, it takes it takes an awareness, right? It takes a like a tune in to the things I'm doing. There have been moments, even you know, when I'm driving or you know when I'm going into a situation, I've just felt the Lord say, "Pay attention, pay attention to what I'm about to do." And it's so easy. I think one of the greatest tools that the enemy uses in our lives is just busyness and distraction. Yeah. And, and I'm so guilty of that every day of just like doing, doing and being busy. And, and, you know, it's wonderful to be productive, you know, like we just talked about our strengths, right? One of my, I'm an achiever, you know, I want to get things done. <laughs> like, but yeah. yeah, but it's like the Lord saying tune in, you know, that's why we even call this channel mining for more. Cause it's like, mm. it, it, you know, it's not always going to be the things the Lord is going to reveal to us. We need to be tuned in. 
yeah. to what he's doing. And that's what I love about the do it. And it's constant and it's just enough. You know, the do is just enough to maintain the eco balance, the life that happens in the desert. If you have you ever watched those documentaries and you look at like the little like salamanders and things that are like or um, lizards and stuff, they like stand out in the morning dew and they wait for the water droplets to like have their leg up and they wait for the dew to they need um, it to cover over them and it forms a water droplet and then they drink it and yeah. it's just enough to sustain them. And it's like you know, I want that. There's that. Um, there's that great Psalm where David is actually praying to the Lord and he's like, Lord, don't give me too much that I'm going to forget yes. you. And don't let me have too little that I might um, covet something yes. that somebody else has, but give me just enough for today. And isn't that what Jesus prayed? Yeah. Yeah, it is. It is. Bread. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it goes back to the manna. God provided that manna, right? And yeah. it was there. It was just what they needed. It, it yeah. was in the form of dew. It was just it was sitting on the grass. Yes. yes, it was, it was constant yeah. faithfulness of God every day, every day. Well, maybe that's a great place to end where we can, um, if you want to pray for us, Dina, just ask the Lord like to yeah. open our eyes to the beautiful yeah. tall all around us I of his you. presence. That's, that's great. Let's pray. Lord, you are worthy of worship and praise, Lord. And we want to, um, as we've looked at two of your words today, Lord, the first one that came to our minds was Avad. Lord, and we want to just worship you in everything we do. Lord, we want to bring glory to you. And Father, would you open our eyes to the hidden blessings, the things you're doing all around us, Father God. Help us not to miss what you're doing and, and where you're working, Lord. We want our eyes to be opened. We want to be tuned in, Lord God. We want to see what you're doing. We want to be able to appreciate. And Lord, we want to be able to walk alongside of you. Lord, we just thank you that um, that you are just an active God, a God who loves us and who is at work in us and, and continue to change us and transform us so we can look more and more like you. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, thanks so much, everyone, for tuning in. Join us next week as we uh, explore and mine through a couple more Hebrew words. Have a great week.